Hello lovely human beings, welcome to my August Fictionary TBR. We're here to pick the books that I'm going to be reading in August, or at least attempting to pick the books that I'm going to be reading in August. As of last month I'm kind of just relaxing the way I pick my TBR and these are just a guide of the books that I maybe might read, but also if I don't that's okay. So I'm going to continue that into my August TBR and we're going to pick with Fictionary! Yay! Fictionary is the board game I have created to help me pick my TBR. It is based on Pictionary. We have five prompts, we have people and places, we have appearance, title, difficult in any book. Each of these then have different prompts underneath them that I draw from. I will be drawing six books today. I have no idea what books to get on here apart from one as I've said, so hopefully I can get that one on here. But other than that, this is going to be a bit of a free-for-all. I do have a one minute timer to pick these books as well, so we add a little bit of pressure in there. I'm excited to get picking. I do have a sponsor for today's video, so I'm just going to tell you a little bit about that first before we pick my TBR. Today this video is sponsored by the poetry collection Spring Clean by Sabrina Islam. This is a collection that revolves around mental health, around relationships and around healing. It has very beautiful and honest poems from this New Zealand poet. There are trigger warnings for abuse and bullying in this book, so please do look into those if this is one you are looking to pick up. This is split into two different sections. We have winter and we have spring, and these are both meant to be a metaphor for growing up. I have a little tab on one of my favourite poems in this. This is such a tiny poem but it's such a lovely beautiful quote. So this is cool but it's shone behind them anyway and it's just three lines long. How the world sighs when the clouds move and the sun shines again. I just really liked that one, it was very beautiful and it also has this lovely little illustration with it that I think accompanies it really nicely. This poetry collection discusses the author's journey with mental health and relationships as a teenage girl. It's very open, very honest and very raw and very beautiful. You can find this available at Book Depository, Barnes & Noble and Amazon. I will leave all the links you need down below as well as a link to the merchandise store for this poetry collection as well. Okay, let's do roll number one. Five. One, two, three, four, five. People and places. Role number one is a people and places prompt. Let's have a look. Non-human main character. Okay, let's go. Okay, non-human main character. The first book I've thought of is Daughter of the Moon Goddess. Now, given that she's a daughter of a moon goddess, does that make her a little, a little mini goddess? therefore not human? Hang on, I'm gonna try and skim the blurb and find out. Okay, she's raised on the moon, which makes me think she's not human. I've been wanting to read this one for a while. So I'm gonna go for this one and hope that this this counts within my own prompt creation. So I'm gonna say it counts. I, it's so pretty. I think she's non-human main. I have gone for Daughter of the Moon Goddess by Su Lin Tan. I've been wanting to read this one for a while. Now, the two things that make me think maybe the main character isn't human is because she lives on the moon, well, she's been raised on the moon, which makes me think maybe she's kind of got some celestial beingness about her. And also she is the daughter of a moon goddess, which does not imply human. So I'm hoping I'm right there, but I guess I'll find out when I start reading it. But I've been wanting to read this for ages. This is the Fairy View edition and it's so beautiful. So this is the first one on my August TBR. Okay, roll number two. We have six, one, two, three, four, five, six. I got lost. <laughs> appearance. Okay, for roll number six, we have appearance white cover okay white cover i feel like i should be able to do this quite easily this might be the kind of thing where i have quite a lot to be able to choose from oh oh hang on okay this doesn't technically have like the white complete cover but there is white on the cover and there's also white the whole way around so i'm gonna have this one because i think if i was picking any other color and it had flecks of that color on it then i would go for that so i'm gonna pick this which is nothing more to tell by Karen mcmanus and this is an arc okay for roll number two for white cover i have gone for this one which does have white everywhere it's just not like a fully white cover i'd imagine the finished copy yeah the finished copy why am i holding it like that the finished copy is gonna have a white cover so this is nothing more to tell by karen mcmanus this is an arc so i'm kind of partially going on what the finished copy is gonna look like also there's there's a lot of white on the cover so i've forgotten completely what this one's about but i'm excited to read it i really like karen mcmanus's writing so this is going on the tbr roll number three Six again. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, ah, six. Sorry, Amy. Roll number three, we have title. Friend picks the first letter, not the or A. Okay, right, hang on. I won't set my timer yet. I will send in a message to my group chat. I'm gonna wait to get a response for this one and then we will find the prompt for this one, but let's go on to roll number four whilst I wait. Okay, roll number four. We have one difficult. It's been a while since we've had a difficult, so that sounds about fair to me. For the difficult prompt, we have got being on my TBR the longest. 
this prompt is out here to do me dirty. I did actually create a spreadsheet where I could add in when I got books so I could work out what has been on my TBR the longest, but I think I'm just going to do this by a rough guesstimation of ones that I know I just keep saying I'm going to read. Cersei has <laughs> not been on my TBR like the longest because there are books that I've had a lot longer than this one, but it has been on my TBR for a hell of a long time. Also, something like The Oxford Brotherhood I've had for a fair while and keep wanting to get to. Is it the time I put Cersei on my TBR? Doesn't guarantee I'm going to get to it, but is is it this time? Is it the time? It's the time! Okay, I have no idea if I'm actually going to end up getting to this, but this has been on endless videos where I'm like, yeah, I'm going to read this soon, I'm going to read this soon, I'm going to read this soon, I just haven't. So, I'm putting on the TBR, making no promises, but it's going on the TBR. Roll number five, we have two, one, two. Okay, we have another people and places for roll number five. It is characters I think I'll identify with. Great, okay. I kind of hate myself when I write these prompts and look back on them because how do I know? <laughs> like, I don't know enough about the characters. I know that's the point of the prompt, but sometimes I just know nothing at all about these characters going in. So great, great. Um, I still haven't got the book on I'm trying to get onto this TBR, but I don't know enough about it to be able to say whether I think it's a character that I'll be able to relate to. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> I cannot think of a single book that like I can, I haven't read yet that I can think of what the characters are meant to be like in that book. But I'm running out of time, I have 20 seconds. I don't want to get a forfeit for this. I just pick any book at this point. Any book that I think I want to read would be great. Really would be. Really would be. I can't think of anything. <laughs> Who's in this? I want to read this. My timer went off. I have failed. I just panicked to pick this up. Like, I, I vaguely know what this is about. I don't know why I picked this off the shelves. Like, I want to read this. I don't think these are going to be characters that I find are personally relatable to me. So. It's not going to be this one, and I now have to pick a forfeit card. It's been a while since I've done a forfeit card, but it's my own fault. I panicked. Let's do a forfeit. I'm going to put this back on my shelf. Okay, the forfeit card is... Friend picks my read. Well, I'm already waiting for a reply about the first letter of a book, so I just I just have to give my one of my friends complete control over what I read. So, okay, I'm going to send this to Lauren for a fiction tea. Send her a picture and see what she picks for me. I'm going to say it has to be a book I own because otherwise that kind of negates the point of me trying to lower my TBR a little bit. Let's see what she picks. Okay, whilst we wait for Lauren to reply, that's tomb roll number six. Okay, one. Appearance. Okay, for roll number six, we have got cover with plants on. I can do that. I'm sure I can do that. I'm sure I have loads of plant covers. Okay, I'm sure I must have a fairly decent amount of books with plants on the covers because I like those kind of covers not that I buy a book just because it had plants on the cover but okay we have the beautiful ones which I know I do want to read at some point soon also have build your house around my body which I also would really like to get to actually do you know what I'm saying that I feel like I'm gonna have loads oh no hang on I've got the hedge witch which is working in my favor size wise what else do we have I feel like I'm gonna pick from one of those three Okay, we have got to choose from The Beautiful Ones by Silva Moreno Garcia. I love Silva Moreno Garcia's writing style. I've had this one on my TBR for a while. I would really like to get to it. We also have Build Your House Around My Body by Violet Coopersmith. This is one that I know very little about, but I saw on Waterstones and thought the concept sounded really interesting and it still does intrigue me a lot. And then we have The Hedge Witch by Carrie Thomas, which is a Threadneedle novella. I think this is a prequel to The Threadneedle. So <laughs> these three are my options. I'm kind of leaning towards The Hedge Witch because this is quite a short book. I don't know what Lauren's going to pick for my read that I can't control. So I think it would help me to pick this one being shorter. It would also help me to know what letter I'm going to get to pick a book from because if I got H then I could just pick The Hedge Witch anyway and that would be a nice short one to add to my TBR. So I kind of need to make a decision with this. <laughs> Yet I don't know the other books so it's... It's an uninformed decision, but I think I'm going to pick the Hedgewitch. Okay, I've just got in a letter for the first letter of a book, and it's H. <laughs> I've been given H, so I could have picked the Hedgewitch. Do I want to switch the Hedgewitch out and put the beautiful ones in? Let me peruse what else I have that has an H as the first letter. Okay, there is one book 
that I can think of at the moment that I could put on my TBR and that is Hyde by Kirsten White. This is quite a thin thrillery thing, that's all I know about it. I got it at Yalk, 14 competitors, seven days, everywhere to hide but nowhere to run, come out, come out wherever you are. It does, it does sound quite good fun but I haven't heard the best things about this so that one's, that one's a good maybe. It begins with H so we, we are ticking that box there. What do I have down here? I have shorter books down here none of which being with H. Awesome. Right, I'm kind of struggling, not gonna lie. I think it, it's either gonna be Hyde or The Hedge Witch. So let's decide. I think really the question here has now become, do I want to read Hyde or The Beautiful Ones? Because The Hedge Witch is already on my TBR, so it would be a case of me switching out The Hedge Witch for The Beautiful Ones or having Hyde just fulfill the prompt of H. I think I might go for Hyde because it looks like it's gonna be fun and far pe fast paced. It says a compulsive read you won't want to put down. I know my friend Kat's reading this at the moment and is I think enjoying it. I I think the only thing that's making me hesitant with Hyde is that when I bought it, I hadn't heard anything about it, I hadn't heard of it when I bought it, and then I then heard slightly negative things about it, so I think that's what's making me a bit hesitant, but I think I'm gonna do Hyde. I'm gonna keep the head twitch on and do Hyde as my book beginning with H. Okay, I'm still waiting on Laura and replying with friend picks my read, so I will come back to you once she has given me an answer there. Okay, Lauren has picked my next read. So she initially picked Circe, which is funny given that it's already on my TBR. So she had to pick again and she picked The Prison Healer by Lynette Noni. She said, based on what other people have said about this, she thinks I'll really enjoy it. I honestly don't really know much about this and I'm kind of happy to leave it not knowing too much. It's not one that I have thought or considered adding to a TBR for a long time. I know this is a series and I don't really want to get stuck into another series. However, I do remember feeling a vague bit of intrigue when I did get this. I think this is the Fairy Loot edition. So yeah, I'll, I'll potentially give it a go. It's going on the TBR. The title on the back says, Don't Let Her Die, We Are Coming. Also it has flowers on, so it could have fit for that prompt as well. But it's going on the TBR. This is Lauren's pick. Okay, this is my potential August TBR. I do feel better now. I've kind of taken the pressure off of myself from feeling like I have to get to all of these, but it's a suggested TBR. So we have The Prison Healer by Lynette Noni. We have Kirsten White's Hyde. We have Circe by Madeline Miller. We have Daughter of the Moon Goddess by Sue Lin Tan. We have Nothing More to Tell by Karen Emmett Manis. And we have The Hedge Witch by Carrie Thomas. I'm glad I had The Hedge Witch on there because not that any of these are super long, but I feel like it's a fairly chunky TBR. So this, is my August TBR. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have enjoyed, please do give it a thumbs up, comment down below what you will be reading in August and subscribe to see more of my face on your feed, including me reading some of these books. You can also find link down below my Patreon where I do extra content such as live shows, podcasts, extra exclusive videos, lots of different things. And there's also a link down below to my shop where I sell Lightroom presets and Instagram story highlight covers. You can also find the details for the book Spring Clean down below if you are interested in checking out more about that. Thank you so much for watching, keep smiling and stay positive.